Hey people, it's K-Wing here, and uh, this is a special look at uh, Temtem, which uh, technically isn't released yet. Uh, this is a Pokemon-style game, MMO, and uh, the developer reached out and asked me to look at this yesterday, but I wasn't able to. Don't jump on the laptop, you little beast. I'm going to have to put her in the basement. <clears throat> She's a little rambunctious. <clears throat> run, Zelda, run! <laughs> Alright, so anyway, let's take a look at this. Oh, okay, so this is my character. I guess, I can't tell which one is the... She wanted food? I can't tell who... What what color would make me... It, it looks like a girl. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry about No, no, you're fine. I'm just... There might be some on the top. Do you want me to go see if there are some on the top? There might be some dry ones downstairs right now. Oh, okay. I'll go check. Guess this is... Be... Okay, so that is... This is, this is a guy build then. Because... Pretty sure... Yeah, kind of. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I am the guy. All right. It's kind of like Pokemon. It's what uh, people keep telling me in comparison to what it is. All right, so we don't have to do anything until I don't have to do anything like I don't have to do anything really till two p.m. tomorrow. So I'm just gonna black jacket and. I would go wash the yeah, I know because of the stream thing. I know. Are you streaming again after that? No. No, nope, I'm editing after that. Okay, that's weird looking pants. We have, like, no light I I know Amber. I, I I know. Uh, I guess. Where? Okay, I'm just looking for his basic pants. Yes, there, that's good. No, wait. I found some decent pants. Okay, there we go. There's some pants. Ugh. No. Yes. Wait, no. Just let me have the pants. I just want the pants. But I don't want yellow pants! Are you saying I can't have those pants? Because it's yellow, I can't... No, it doesn't matter. Alright, finally. Finally I get some decent pants. Wait, those are my shoes now. Okay then. There we go, that... That's, that's, that's the, this is the best it's going to get. Amber, it's fine. I don't know where you want me to do them. These are two, I can wash the rest of them. These are two clean towels that have been sitting on the dryer forever. Okay, just, it's There's one towel, it's one towel. One, and then a, a tiny towel. That's fine. Want me to put this up in the bathroom for you? Mm-hmm, thank you. Oh gosh, now I have to choose a backpack? My gosh, decisions, decisions. Um. I don't know. A purple backpack? My gosh, colors are just. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, blue zipper, totally, totally 90s. That works for me. Um, give him a black there that's that's good enough it's, 
Except... Uh, I'm just gonna call him K-Wing. Guy. Yes. Yes. Huh? I just want to be a guy. I think it's this one. Alright. Now... How do I change my hair and skin color? Okay, that's... No, that's hair color. And I want frosted tips. I'm not Justin Bieber. There we go. No frosted tips. Eye color... Ah, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. There we go. That's... that's Quarantine something. for 50 years. Quarin Quarantine! Quarantine character with frosted tips. No. Um, that works. Why... It switched back. I, I I knew somebody who used to run like that. Um, let's... Are you talking about me? No. No. I'm not talking about you. Wait, how did my... What? I thought it was quarantine me. What's what's going on? Okay, there we go. This game is really, uh... Buggy. Oops. I mean... Uh... I'm not supposed to say that! Darn it. It's different. It's different, yeah. Now, is this a guy voice or a girl voice? Because I'm almost, almost done here. I need a... I'll listen to the levels over here. I'm not worried about the levels. What is this? Oh, you that's, sound like a girl. That's a girl voice. Yeah, that's a guy voice. Is it? Uh, that's as close to a guy voice as you're going to get. Okay, then. Well, there we go. Okay. K-Wing, K-Wing, still sleeping? Come on, wakey, wakey! Is that supposed to be my mom? Yes, it is. Wow. Good morning, K-Wing! Well, you'd better wake up fast. They're all waiting for you. Ha ha ha, you sleepyhead. You really don't remember what day it is, do you? Today? It's... Oh... <laughs> Today's my apprentice's eve! What? <laughs> exactly, my dear! Congratulations! Tempedia? Oh, so it's like your pokey, pokey decks. Yeah. The quintessential device every tamer should have. And here is your apprentice's eve present! You're an apprentice now! Soon you'll be heading to the academia! So, mm -hmm. I figure that you're going to need it. So, do you know how it works? Uh, yeah, the Tempopedia lists all the Temptims or whatever I capture, right? Oh. Yeah. And now you have your own. Well, hurry up. They're waiting for you. Okay. Come, Quarantine Man. Is that the mom? Y yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I wish they would restock the PS4. Yeah, that would be nice. No, restock the PS5. Oh, PS5. Oops. Mm. I got that messed up. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Zadar. Home oh. Sweet Home is called Zadar. Oh, this is cute. It's like... It's Kaywin! Congrats! Yeah! Happy Apprentice Eve. Yay. Oh. Oh. oh, my! All of Zadar is here! We live on another planet. No, I'm just kidding. Congratulations, K-Wing. We know this is a big day for you, but we're also going to miss you. We got you a little pocket money for the trip to the academia. It's not much, but we've all chipped in. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, my dear neighbors. But K-Wing, where is your friend Max? Oh, no. <laughs> I think I know who Max hey, is. Hey, someone call me? Hey, it's Apprentice Eve 2. What's up? Oh, hello, Max. We were waiting for Professor Constantinos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, Professor Constantinos. Please take care of K-Wing. Oh, children, they grow so fast. And one day they're gone. Oh. Don't worry, my dear. 
I'll drop K-Wing and Max off at the academy on my way to the university. Cool, can we go with you? Ah, you're still a bit too young to come with me to the university, Max. But who knows, perhaps one day if you uh, persevere. What about you, K-Wing? Big plans for the future? Well, K-Wing isn't that good at handling Temtem, but that's okay. Don't worry, K-Wing. You can always stay here and take care of Ina, right? Uh... Hey! Haha, <laughs> K-Wing, come with me. We'll drop you off at the lab. Okay, then. Take care, K-Wing. I love you. I know you'll do great. Uh... Uh, come on, kids. Um... Why would he call her Ina if it's his mom? I don't know. I'd say he's, mom. He's a very rude child. Yeah. Also, I, I can't tell if Max is... I'm going to stay here with Susan. I mean, my mom. It's like, um... Uh, I can't. I can't say, but it's... I can't tell if Max is supposed to be a guy or a girl. Like, they're all so identical that it's it's hard to tell. Eh, it's fine. I mean, some people you can definitely tell. That's a girl. Uh, that is probably I, a girl and I'm going to say Max dude. is a guy. Because Mighty Max. Oh, wait. Whoa, what's going on? Um, hey, K-Wing, where are you going? You're not supposed to leave Zadar without any Temtem in your squad. It's dangerous. What would Ina say? Who is Ina again? Your mom. Are we sure? I'm, no. I feel like I'm adopted. Who are you? Hey, impressive send-off. Incredible. Seems just like yesterday when you kids played with sick stick swords. Okay. Now a word will, uh, please take care of Max, K-Wing. Who? Not my problem. Well, I hope you do great. Nah, I'm just gonna be mean to everybody. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Oh my gosh. We were supposed to go to the academy, so... Where is the car I need to get in with that strange man? Everybody is still standing here after the ceremony. Okay, makes sense. I can relate to this guy. He's just like, I don't want to be here. Yep. I, I'm, yep, that guy's my spirit animal. Is this where we, no. Okay, then. Uh, is this the academy? Oh, it's his lab. Okay. We found his lab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey there. Hey. Ah, oh. oh, hey kids, this is Apprentice Eve, meaning you have already learned all the basics. Now we're ready to handle your first. Uh, see those glass jars? Each contains a different animal. I want the lion. Uh. Hey, Teach, do you have any digital? Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm just going to be like this when it's time to read. Ha, oh. <laughs> I have one. Where'd you get that? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Finest and humblest of Temtem. Haha. <laughs> and since Max already has one, let's get you one too. What? Why does K-Wing get to choose and I don't? Mm -hmm. Quiet. Oh. Ah, I mean, I'm a friendly adult. See which one you like best. Take your time. I just want the lion. The lion looks cool. Lame. Liguama is going to gather some popcorn to watch this. Yeah. Awesome. Budget Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> um. Kind of like the floating weird. Yeah. On it. Okay. Oh. Fine. Ah, that is a mental Pokemon. I mean, uh, Temtem. It's not Mewtwo. What? Mm -hmm. uh, are you sure you want this one? Uh, I mean, I'm scared of shape, so no. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that's a monkey lion? What? What type of genetic, like, failure is this? I don't know! It looks weird! Oh! Mm. Christy is a crystal temdem. No. So crystal, a lion, or a floating shapes. Fla floating shapes of death. We're gonna go with floating shapes. Really? I don't know. I don't want the weird monkey lion. It's creeping me out. <laughs> really? It's cute. No. 
Excellent choice. Well, I'm scared of the shapes. You gotta tempt him. Ho chick. Hu chick. Hoi chic. Who? I don't know. How chic. That's easier to remember. There we go. That animal is possessed. I agree, Chad. Great to see everyone in the chat. Hello, food. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> uh, although everyone in the chat is ridiculously good looking, including our admins, please don't say inappropriate things to them. Thank you, people of the chat. Thank you. Very. That's what you're doing. <clears throat> that's what you are. Fine, I got a good one. Fine. That'll work! Laguama thinks the professor is sus. Perfect name! Why won't you let me have my fun game? I don't care. Chubbiness? Yes! Its face is freakishly large. Okay. Let me out! Aguama's got his popcorn to sit back. Time to get on, kids! Thank you for the suggestion, food. I don't know who food thought you should name it Brain Fart. I don't know. Thank you guys for the suggestions for the Whoa! names. Oh! And now that you have your brand new Temtem, huh? Let's see what you could do with it! Okay. Max. Get ready. Chubbiness, get ready! Uh, I'm gonna kick it. Choose target. Luke, that was brutal. That was, yeah. that was hurtful. <laughs> Chubbiness died immediately. Ha! Take that, K-Wing! My first victory of many! Hurrah! Whoops. Uh, you won! Yay. It's all about the tamer, not the Tim-Tam! Didn't you say that a minute ago, Teach? Because I memorized everything you said. Uh, sure! Ah! Don't let this first defeat affect you too much, K-Wing! You never really stood a chance against Max! Let's make this opposite of Pokemon, so the main character's gonna lose! Look at your chubbiness! It could use a couple of bandages and some balm! Oh. Ah! Side character battle. That's right. Side character battle where you get your butt kicked. You got a new Temtem! Yeah! Tawaii! I don't know. Toucan Sam. Yep! I just have to remember how to spell it. I think it's two. Oh wait, that'd be you. Well, it depends what Earth. Two can. I think it's two ends. Sam. But that's not how I remember the spelling, honestly. I was close. I'm gonna call him two can Sammy to avoid copyright. Yeah, we made our own spelling. Yeah, there we go. Two can Sammy. Except. Except. Why? Upper case letters can only be used at the beginning of the word. You have to get rid of the uppercase S. Just go to Can Sammy, but without. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's... It's always depressing doing it again. No, no, no. You can't do an, a capital S. I didn't do it. It it, it oh, did it, it for me. Oh, it automatically did it. There. There. That's stupid. Why could only uppercase letters be at the? Then why did they even give you the option? I don't know. Oh, sorry. I mean. Whoa. Hmm. <gasps> 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 
Rudy, 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 Um. Aha. Uh, what the heck? For, they can't even... Okay. Ah, there we go. You two head north and meet me there. Listen up. The path is teeming with Temtem. You got a Temtem card times eight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And since they won't go down without a fight, have some bomb to hear your temtem. You got bomb. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where is that hip adult going with that young child? Sus. Uh, why is that person running back and forth? Oh no! It's dangerous! Use bomb! No. Why is that guy just... Why is it saying clean? Um... Oh, there are gonna be other players you're gonna interact with. Poor man's Pokemon! With pronouns. Whoops. Ah, finally! Someone to test my skills! I'm gonna lose again, aren't I? Get ready! I don't want to, Pete. Oh... How do... Wait, can I use both at the same time? Yay! Okay. Um... Kick? <clears throat> no, we're not playing co-op right now. Wait, this game has co-op? I don't know... Great to see everyone in the chat. Hey, Laguama, Princess Emmy, oh. um, Supersonic, Max Woods, Cassie. Thank you for the kind words, Cassie. Hey, Resident Lynx, Chad, uh. um, Ruben, um, Bandile, um, Elijah, Montanui, Amy Smith, and Ruben, uh, Brandon, and um, Food, and everyone hanging out. Hopefully everyone's having a great day today. I can't tell if I'm winning or losing. I don't think I'm winning. <laughs> and isn't battle music supposed to be exciting? I mean, it's, it feels like I'm I'm like sitting in an elevator at like one of those giant gaps. Yes, rock that violin. That's what I think of when I think of Pokemon battles. Go Fiddler, go! Ow. You know, rock rock music isn't just like uh, for Pokemon battles. Like you could literally use different music if you wanted to. It's it's not like copyright to have awesome music. I'm just saying. I know this game is still in development, so maybe mm, fire the person who wrote the music and um, get someone better, please. It's supposed to be a fun, sweet game. Really? You've earned forty-three something. Oh, uh, you beat me! Take my not Pokemon! Why is that guy floating? That, that dude just like... Oh no. Hey, young one! Would you like a little friendly match? No, don't bother me. Mm, don't bother other students, Orhan. They're probably on their way to the academia. You're gonna make them late for class! Wouldn't it be called the academy? I'm gonna get in trouble. Consider this a practical lesson in pain. Your instructor's Orhan. 101. Or fighting is also wrong. Oh my gosh. So wait, how can I fight two at once? Chubbiness! Oh my gosh. Uh, Windblade. Yeah. Um... Yeah, sorry guys, I don't, like, allow people to say stuff to my admins because, like, Luke and I have done this job for a long time and, you know, we know people are going to say weird things to us, but it's not fair for people to say that to the admins. Well, at least Toucan Sammy is kind of cool. Why couldn't he, he be a starter? Because, I mean, he actually looks pretty decent. Wait, how did I gain experience if I haven't won the match yet? I don't know. I don't know. 
Well, boop. He's toast. Wait, what? What did I just do? Don't hold back. Come at us. You lost already. Why? Why does the other person look like they're crying? I have no idea. Well done. You'll be a great tamer someday. Uh. I already. Okay then. I mean, so far I really like this game. It's pretty cute. Who could it be? Cute. Okay, then. Chubbiness! Tuscany! Yeah. Oh, not Tuscany. Toucan Sam. I'm Toucan sorry. Toucan Sammy! I'm sorry. I thought his name was Tuscany. Oh, I can peck people? Okay. <laughs> well, I think I should just use Windblade. Oh, kick and peck. Uh... And can you guys hear okay? Um, yeah, I mean, I checked the levels. I mean, you're hearing yeah. some awesome violin music. Um, I think the music is nice. Okay, I don't know why it's showing you sometimes as a uh, member, sometimes as not resident links. I don't know. YouTube's being YouTube. YouTube is so weird. I always, I always think that people are like, 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 I see people fade in and out of membership all the time. Maybe we're going through alternate earths or dimensions, like, every day. Or maybe it's just a glitch. Kaku is knocked out. Hmm. I am holding my tongue so much. I mean, if you think about it, though, nobody has ever made a style of game like this except for... Though, I mean, the people that made... Pokemon. No, there's been other Pokemon clone games! There have? Mm-hmm. And they're not politically correct. That are much better. I'm sorry. I'm. Hey, they this is cute. they asked for my honest opinion. They asked for my honest opinion. Wait, this isn't political. Oh, but it is. You can't even tell the difference between girls and guys. That Max is a guy. Uh, I don't know. There was just a dude just now who had a chest. These are both guys. One of them doesn't. Never mind. Oh, I'm not getting into this. I don't. Let's just money. Let's just see what the mm -hmm. game is like. This is the game. You run around and eventually make it to the academy if you don't get lost. So that no, way is a dead end. We're heading to the academia. It's called an academy. Not in this world. I don't care. It's what is this? A toaster? Oh my gosh! That was a chest. Okay. It looked like a small little toaster, or like maybe luggage or something. Also, I've noticed there's like a guy in the background that's just like randomly floating around. He's uh, like, he's marching around trying to find Pokemon. Where did that guy come from? Hey, you! This is supposed to be my spot! Okay, let's fight. Uh oh, that's fine. he's gonna beat you up. I mean, the art style is cool. It, Chubbiness! It feels like a combination of Digimon, Pokemon, and like every other clone Pokemon game ever. We're just like. Uh. I'll hold my. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Mm. I'll stop. I'll let the game explain itself. Hmm. Almost got it. Ow. Mm. Oh no! I lost Toucan! Where's a revival place? It overexerted itself. I'm sorry. Would you would you like uh, a break? Maybe like a little uh little umbrella with a uh, what do they call those drinks? The drinks with the little umbrellas in them. Somehow I leveled up. Awesome. Throw the shapes! Okay, that was actually a powerful move. But where's the floating shapes that I was promised? Food says, looks like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh melded together. I can't say it. Stop it, guys. I want to be able to say stuff, but I can't. It looks like the fusion of, like... I can't say it. Oh, I feel like I'm being repressed. 
It looks like the people were jumbled into a giant portal and they were all like came out like sporadically. No! It feels like a C string anime merged with a D string and then it's just a horrible explosion of creative whatever this is. It's like lowest budget anime that you could think of and then this game. I just. Mmm. I don't. Mm. To uh. figure out where you're going, OH has. Uh, a there! See! See! He's floating! Yeah, he, he is floating. He's not walking. Oh my gosh. Oh, he says you should follow... You should have let... You should have Toucan Sam follow his nose. Toucan Sam can't for follow the, his nose because he's... For the fruity taste that he's, shows. He's dead. Alright, so this is supposed to be Professor Oak's place, right? So let's revive dead Pokemon. Uh... How do I revive dead people? Hello? Hi! I don't care about congratulations. Where, where's your where's your revival center? Every Pokemon clone has a revival center. I, I lost two can't Sammy. He's gone. Yeah, I mean, like... I don't know. I can't really see. The characters are so far away, it's hard for me to see, so I can't really even tell. Thing? You have better eyesight than me, honestly. Oh my gosh. So the one good thing about this game that I'll say is you're playing with a bunch of other people at the same time. Um, and the game's not crashing. There's there's something nice. Yay. So you, you can play online with a bunch of people. And uh, it's currently in development, so there's a cool. lot of things that they can fix. Um, a lot of things that they need to fix. Chad says Luke's commentary is priceless right now. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm holding back so much you have no idea. Uh, Dark Hunter says I just got to the stream. Is this game kind of like Pokemon? In that it, <laughs> it's it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's a thing that I want. To... Oh my gosh, I'm. Just, I'm oh, biting my arm. Ugh. I want to be nice. The developer reached out, but it's like this is just this is painful. See, but if I was playing this game on my own, I would think this is the greatest thing ever. It's cute. It has. I like violin music. I think the colors are nice and they're bright and they feel happy to me. The characters are cute. They have unique names. Like, this is like a completely different world where instead of Academy, it's called The Academia. I think it's- I think it's interesting. You lie. No, I really do. I just- I would have chosen the monkey line instead. There's nothing wrong with Mewtwo wannabe. It's pretty strong. I, mean, I guess it's like a Mewtwo. It is a Mewtwo with yes, a chubby face. Yes, this, this is a Pokemon-like game, Dark Hunter. Great to see you, Dark Hunter. <laughs> I lost the battle because my team... Oops. Oh, gosh. All right, everybody blacked out. What happens? How do I bring back my team? Okay, I blacked out, so everybody's back. All right, mm, there we go. Are we supposed to say our opinion or no? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. They want feedback. Because I've been told that before, and then when I say my opinion, people get mad at me. I mean, I would... I, geez, I, Here's a question from the chat. Is this game worth $40? No. Maybe 20 <clears throat> This This game is trying to hit all the um, current political check marks. Social, social check marks. Yeah. And they focused more on that than gameplay. Do they have a woman president? Uh, if They have probably some stuff. Who knows? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do they have equal rights for cats and dogs as humans? They have fused uh, monkeys with lions, turtles with... Uh, what was that thing? A lizard? Turtle with lizards. And, um, a bunch of other stuff. It, it's like Fusion Animal Party. 
stuff. Wait, why can't I go there? Oh, that's an incline! Well, I couldn't tell because... Is there a way Wait, to turn down the contrast? Somebody's saying, please, uh, save. Make sure you save. Contrast, contrast. Colors. Please, it's so blinding. It's hurting my eyes. Display own nickname? No. Oh, don't tell me you can't adjust. No, Luke doesn't hate the game. Luke was a game journalist for a long time. He's just giving constructive I'm feedback. I'm just giving honest feedback. No, he doesn't hate the game. He does this with most... He doesn't usually do this with games because we've been a Let's Play channel. But they did ask for feedback, so Luke's giving, like, honest feedback that he uh, Yeah, that they're, he they're gonna watch this back. So, that's all. No, not at all. Usually when we when we cover games and stuff, we're not a... Most of the time, they don't even allow us to say anything, so we don't. Now, this is, this is an impressions and a review of sorts. Hmm. Wait, somebody said it was $7 when they bought this game. Yeah. The Lethal Twins. Alright, I'm going to check out how much game, how much this is. So, if it is $7, then it's great. Somebody says it's still in development, though. That's what I was told. You even said that this was a special version that we were looking at that hasn't are, released yet. Are we looking at the PS5 version? Yeah. Whatever, let's fight. Little Kite Man reference there. I mean, here it says that it... It says it's $40. With a $60 Deluxe Edition. Wow. When it has more content added, it will be $45 with a $65 for the Deluxe Edition. I mean... No, it's not $7. No. No, this is a... I this mean... This is $40 to $60 game. Yeah. Actually, Luke is whole... I mean, it's funny. I'm glad you guys enjoy it, but... Like, Luke used to... Like, if anyone has watched Luke's old game reviews, like... Yeah. Yeah, when developers ask for feedback, I tell them. <laughs> I mean, the combat is okay. Yeah. But for... Would I pay $40 for this? No. Um... The visuals are okay, but it, it's kind of like oh, neon color Par wash Pokemon. Parn Mickey said, "Oh, I got it on Steam." Ah, there you go. Played on Steam. A long time ago. Yeah. So it's seven. It was seven dollars on Steam. Mm-hmm. It's been in so development for a couple years. It's they've been working on this for a while. What was that? Also, the weird animal things freak me out. It's like a, a fusion of a crab, a platypus, and a turtle shell for a head? I don't know. Creepy. I mean, that's a cute looking little monster over there. Yeah. But it's like, why in the world would you give the Mewtwo character, like, generic uncle face? I, I just, mm. I don't get it. Rescue Squad says, Mython Island is a Pokemon-inspired game also that I'm looking forward to on Steam. Mm-hmm. So... There are so lots there are of other, lots clone, of other Pokemon clone Pokemon games. Pokemon oh, yeah. games. And some of them are really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thank you for letting us know, Rescue Squad. Sounds like a cool game. Mython Island. Cool. Generic Pokemon twin battle. Yay! Earn something. Not really sure. Transitions are nice, though. Okay. Uh, uh, that is a chest of some type. What? Oh, I can talk to my flying little Tentum pal. No, um, we received no compensation for this or whatever, so I am, you know. Even if we did, I would do a full uh, disclosure at the beginning of the video that I'm pretty much going to be blunt about this game. Uh, no compensation. They would just ask me to look at it. They gave me early access or whatever and on well, PS5. Well, I mean, we got the game, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Spooky. Bomb. Red Lightning in the chat believes that he thinks this game is. He likes the game. Each his own. Alright, so we'll try. What is tenderness? And Windblade. Are you gonna play Pokemon Masters on the on your iPhone? Um, I don't play a lot of mobile games. Can you do a Yoda voice? No. <laughs> Speak Yoda. I cannot. Chris says, "I love the video. Amazing. Awesome. For reals." <laughs> Are you sure? Mm, I do. I like it too. I'm enjoying watching you play this. I mean, I like I like this game. I think it's cute. I haven't really seen any Pokemon clones before. Really? We've played some. Really? Yeah, they're usually anime based. Mm-hmm. Yep. They evolve like some type of monsters and other things like that. Says he likes it compared to the newer gen of Pokemon games. But I thought the newest Pokemon game was pretty good, though. I liked Pokemon Sword and Shield, yeah. Ah, we were so close! Frederica! Salustio! We weren't even close. Uh, what is this place? Costumes, probably? Hey, if it isn't K-Wing! Uh, buy stuff? What are you- Bomb! What does bomb do again? Bomb herbs restore health. Oh, okay. But I have eight bombs, so I'm supposed to heal my uh, digital pals. So yeah. wait, squad. why can't you? Why can't you go to a Pokemon Center? When did I get that person? Wait, this isn't my. Do I have? No, this is like a, a Pokédex thing. Where's uh squad? There is one no. game. One I think saying Pokemon clone. On Game Pass, it is called Monster Sanctuary. Yes, it, I've heard of Monster it Sanctuary. It is a Metroid slash Pokemon. It's pretty fun. Yep. Cool. Thank you, Parn Mickey. Awesome. All right. So sounds cool. How would I use the items to heal them then? Hey, Dana's Game Reviews says I haven't played a Pokemon game since Ruby and Sapphire. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh ah, wow! Back back. Thank you for, um, awesome. Says, Cassie says, I'm enjoying watching Temtemp Pokemon game on Kaming's Let's Play's channel. Thank you, Cassie. There we go. Thanks for being coming a member again. Unless you never... I don't know why everyone's membership keeps switching in and out. So thank you. Great to see all our awesome members today. Dana, Cassie, um, and, um, Chad, Akarui, and Dark Hunter. And uh, everybody hanging out in the chat. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Great to see you guys. Okay. Oh, Red Lightning said the animations and graphics for the newer gen games could have been better since it's a big company working on the games. That's true. Mm -hmm. I agree to that. Ooh. Chad says, here's a fun game while playing it. Try not to reference Pokemon while playing the game. See how long this could last. <laughs> yeah. I already failed. That was a fox with a beard. Mm -hmm. Unique character designs. Oh, he's gonna summon another one. Okay. All right, that's cute looking. It's uh, like a little bee. I. It's a high like combination of something. Mm -hmm. I don't they're know. They're all mutants. Genetically modified. No. No, they're definitely genetically modified animals. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Uh. Oh, I, apparently I've been. I'm no longer poisoned, but I leveled up. Okay, cool. Uh, kick? Sure. And my guy, Chubbiness, got pretty beaten up, so I'll have to heal him after this. 
Chubbiness. Well, thank you, Cassie. I appreciate that. I'm playing Sackboy on... I don't, oh, I'm that's not the sure map. what Sackboy is. Well, um, like, it's a, it's a new game. We can, like, uh, I'll just look up and see what that is. It's a, uh, E4All game. Oh, uh, we might not be able to because it's E4All, but... Why does yeah. that dude look like Cat in the Hat? Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh! So how do you catch other characters, though? They didn't really go over that. What is this? K-Wing, the hero of games. That's right, Laguama. Wait, what does this do? Use oh, there it is! You can try to capture it. Alright, so we'll beat it up a little bit and then try to capture that thing, because that's adorable. Uh, Just a regular peck. That should be fine. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, Defense. Uh, just kick OH it. says, We already saw the Zelda Breath of the Wild ripoff game. We saw Pokemon ripoff. What's next? Metroid ripoff? Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like almost everything Nintendo makes, somebody makes a clone of it. There we go! We caught our first, uh, little guy. I don't- the name is fine. I don't care. Alright, so you have to squad to, to go forward. Alright, so we got that little guy. Uh, there's a weird bird. Oh, that's his weird bird. Yeah, there have been a bunch of different uh, Breath of the Wild clones. Or, I mean, I mean, think games that have taken that off. Like Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is one, definitely. And a couple others. Immortals uh, Phoenix Rising. Mm-hmm. Chad says Dauntless is a Monster Hunter ripoff game. Mm -hmm. Pains me to say it. Yeah, I mean, like, it is, but also, I like Dauntless because I can actually play it without dying. I mean, I die, but I can't. I'm not, I'm not dying repeatedly. Just I wish they could turn down the contrast of the game. It's like. I don't know. It's too bright. It's really glowy. I, mean, I wish there was a way you could just turn down the contrast of your TV. Mm. So we wouldn't have to... It's already on a, a setting like that's supposed zoing. to... Yeah, that It probably looks super bright online. Mm. Oh, wait. They're using my Windblade thing against I mean... me. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, it looks <laughs> worse on YouTube. <laughs> that, that, ca that caused my eyes to hurt for a second there. Mm. Can, you, can you actually steal other people's Temtems? Oh my gosh, you can steal trainers! Awesome! Oh no, you can't. No. They catch the card if you try to throw it. Sons of Gaming says Immortals is more Assassin's Creed. It's kind of both. It's got it's got a bit of both in there. Yoink. Uh Ooh. Oh, bye, chubbiness. What will you guys be playing on Christmas from Cassie? We don't know yet. I'm not sure, Cassie. Um, That's a good question. Thank you for wanting to watch us on Christmas, though. We'll probably be doing gaming with a K- or, I mean- We'll be doing Christmas with the K Wings. Maybe we'll do a, maybe we'll do a Christmas special. Defeated, bah. Yep, you've been defeated. Um, how do I bring back defeated people? Do I just go home to my bed? I don't want to do that. Oh no. Oh, I want one of those weird koala things. Try it. Toucan Sammy is not doing the best. Windblade! Boom! 
Oh! Oh, my attack is down? Well, that's just mean. Uh, well, I only need one of them, so I'm gonna kill him. Bye bye! And I'm gonna go after Rain Dance over here. Dances with squirrels. Looks like. I don't know, like the Velveteen Rabbit or some type of stuffed animal that's just been left out in the rain. Are you guys gonna do the Kate? DLC for Marvel's Avengers. We're gonna try. From Sons of Gaming. Alright, I use the Tem card. Wow, it's like digitizing it into champions. That animation was kinda cool. Squad. Good job, bird. Whoa. All these people here. Uh-oh. Uh... No idea. Uh... Nature? That's not correct. Um... No, you've been listening. Fire is strong against nature, but it's obviously weak against water, duh. Enough theory. Get ready to rumble. Oh, crud. We're gonna die. Oh gosh! I don't have any fire characters. We're doomed. Um, fish! Eat Windblade! Um, scratch? Oh, it hurt it! Oh! Oh, that was surprising. Um, Windblade? Please go after the other guy. Oh, dang. Hopefully he only has one... one, uh, Temtem, -tem, or this is gonna be bad. Uh, sure, Feather Gong. <laughs> Learn Nibble. Good. I kinda like the violin music, but you're right, I mean, like... If it were me, I would prefer like a rock music. You need the you need something that like, actually makes you interested in the fight. There should be something to draw you in. Like There's, if you're say you're walking the world map, you could have that violin music. Yeah, that that music works for violin like um for like an overworld theme or something like that. Um, oh yeah, Kate okay, toast. They should just switch it around. I mean, this sounds kind of like battle-y music, like you're exploring and stuff like that. This would be a better fit for their battle music, and that violin stuff would work better for just exploring. Okay. Uh... Guess this guy knows where he's going. Oh, no. Look, Mom, another tamer! Oh, hello, stranger. I am Yota. This is my daughter, Agapi. I'm K-Wing. Let's fight, Hi. then. Hi, K-Wing. Yes, come on, Mom. Let's see what we can do. Ooh! Oh wow, they're both using the same type. Alright, let's try Feather Gatling. Yeah. And... Nibble. Okay, that's a cool move. Although, I think Windblade is stronger. Uh. Feathered Gatling! Because reasons. Mm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a cool animation. Nibble. Yeah, Red Lightning says they need battle music to get you pumped into the Pokemon's battle. Yeah. Temtem! Like, it should be something like da 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 da
ba 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 like something upbeat like just change the tempo make it like intense like the like if you have a slow beat music and you're in a battle it doesn't make any sense it makes me kind of like lose interest mhm mm the music can really change like if they just change that and made a different battle music yeah it could be way better made the grass look like it isn't bleeding neon she like looks neon green Ow. I've been poisoned. Yeah, because I, I couldn't see myself playing this very long because of the, the colors are just way too bright. Wom. Yeah. It's, if you're, like, tired, play this game to wake up and then go do something else. Because this is, like, a, a visual punch to the face. It's like, I'm awake! <laughs> Womp! can't even see the difference between the world map and some of the monsters. Ridiculous. Wait. That was fun! Did they say one of those was supposed to be the daughter? Oh, maybe it was a mom and... or dad and daughter. No! I don't care. I don't care. Leave me alone. Just let me get by. I mean, that person right there is definitely the daughter. Hey, K-Wing. Have a lovely day, K-Wing. We'll stay here for a while and catch some Temtem. -tem. Okay, whatever. I don't know if that was a dad or a mom. Yeah, you're right. It's very hard you to can't, tell. You can't tell the difference between them. It honestly them. is hard to tell. It's definitely a 2020 this game. This game would put me to sleep. Somebody's Honest sleep. answer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh oh. Ow. Uh, little bird. Okay, that didn't do much. Oh wait, I actually want to try to get that Pokemon. Ah, dang it, I failed already. <laughs> Called it a Pokemon. I failed. It's okay. You failed the test. You failed Chad's test. I failed Chad's test, yeah. I called it... I called it a... Not uh, to mention Pokemon, the whole stream. Yeah, I haven't called it a Digimon yet, though. Oops. Oops! I didn't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird rabbit. It's the only thing standing between me and being destroyed. Yeah, honestly, you guys, um, like... Oh, no. There's only like really hardly anyone is doing this, but if there's any kind of drama or anything in the chat, I'm not gonna allow that. Especially if I have a feeling that the person is not telling the truth anyway. So like I'm not, I don't put up with that. Like please just watch the game. Uh, Thank you. Oh, oh, it does evolve into that weird bird thing. We're toast. We're gonna have to go all the way back now. Mm. Oh no. We're. We're not here to take care of your personal problems you're having, so if you have personal problems, you have to take care of them and then come back to the chat after they're done. So that's uh, not going to be happening. Oh, we're dead. No! All my Tem Tem no! have been Temmed. I don't know. You've just been Tem Temmed. I mean, see, that doesn't look like the fire monkey. That looks like a lion thing. That's cool looking. But that wasn't that one of your choices. That is a fire monkey. No. It's different. Mm. Now I gotta go all the way back. All the way back. Excuse me. Whoop. Now this part's tricky. You have to... Oh, shoot. Um, Foo, don't worry about it. People lie all the time in the chat. There's no way that person's telling the truth. Nothing happened to Timothy. It's this is just how people are on the internet. There's no way that somebody would write that. Don't worry about it. The person's not telling the truth. I'm not. I don't have patience for this anymore. So I don't want to talk about this. 
We're gonna play the game. You didn't do anything wrong, food. I'm just... I am. I don't have patience with people on the internet anymore. Alright. Who are we fighting next? Weird rabbits with... They look like stuffed animals. Still. Trying to make our way back to where that dude, like, aced us. Ow. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Windblade again. There we go. I mean, the sound effects are cool. But it actually... You know, the attacks would be better if they looked better. Oh, no. Wait, didn't I already fight him? No, this is where I'm supposed to be now. Yoink. This is the guy who killed me last time. Okay, so let's try... Wait. You can't use any of your good moves? That's not great. Um, are we going to stream our reaction to the Game Awards? Um, it's possible we might do the Game Awards. I don't know. Luke is... I don't think Luke wants to do them. They're putting out new things on YouTube's TOS about, like, streaming TV shows and events and things like that. I don't want to get a copyright strike, honestly. And also, um, most of these network cable stations, they tend to go after people. Um, so... Especially if they show new trailers, which they're going to. That's the whole point people watch the award shows anyway, is so you can see the awesome trailers. It's just, it's not really becoming stream-friendly anymore, because there's so many new rules and regulations that... Less and less people are going to do it because they don't want to, you know... I mean, can you get a copyright... So you wouldn't get any money for doing it at all? Or? You would get a copyright claim, but the copyright claims is what happened in the past. Now they're issuing copyright strikes. That's so stupid. Why would you do that? Why because everybody that? needs money in 2020. So what did they get with a copyright strike? Uh, you can't stream anymore. Ugh. For like, I think it's up to three weeks now, is what, if you get one copyright strike, it takes about three weeks, if they even remove wow. it. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Uh-oh. Yeah, um, well, I mean, only food is here, but admins, if you see something really weird going on in the chat, it's causing drama, you can always just hide the person or time them out. Even if it turns out that they were having a real crisis later, honestly, it's not our problem. We're just playing a game here, so we can always unhide them later. So, you know, you can always just get yeet them, honestly. It's, it's been happening too much that it's just kind of like, uh, it's hard to know who's telling the truth and who's just like pulling a prank. I don't care. I honestly don't care if people are telling the truth. I can't have it in my chat. I'm just trying to play the game. If someone has a crisis, the place to talk about is not on a gaming chat. Well, I'm trying to cover a game. That's true. I have no idea how to use this little snow pea thing. But I think we're gonna die again. Uh, Tiredness? Tenderness. Yes, because it needs to be tender. Was that all the uh, weird little digital monsters you had, or you had more? That was some fight! Thanks! You earned $73! 73 points or something Point. like that. Point. Yeah. Pokey points. I mean, 10, ah, 10, you 10, fail. 10 points. You already fail. Oh, what took you so long? Whoa. So if you catch the, um, don't worry, Professor Constantinopolis. I understand. Go then, my friend. I will take care of the kids. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Sophia. Ha ha ha! I shall hold you to your word, Professor, but I see your youngest disciple has arrived. Oh. Right on time! Kids, let me introduce my good friend Sophia. She's the dojo master. <laughs> Hi, kids. How are you? I will be giving you a little tour of Brickall de Mar before I drop you off at the Academia. Kids, this is where we part. Bye now. <laughs> oh, get out of here, Constantinos. You might miss your flight. We all walked here. What are you talking about flight? Bye, kids. Very well. Follow me, friends. Uh, can I revive my people now? 
This little shop here is Louis Souvenirs. It stocks all sorts of knickknacks for tourists. Mm. It's a good place to get your first Temesin's vial. No, no apprentice should go without one. So save up and get it as soon as you can afford it. Okay, this way now. Run, 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 run. Indigo Lake, always so peaceful. Some days, when the Solaro River is too crowded, I come here to surf a bit and then train my water temptem. You can just, yeah, X to go through text. And this big building here is your academia. It's managed by associate teachers from the dojo. That's where that's where I'm going to the dojo. <laughs> One day, Max, when you're ready. For now, all new apprentices come here to learn the basics. Once you are properly trained, you might join my dojo in Arisola. No buts about it. Hmm, hmm but mm -hmm. and this way is to the Temporium. Thank you so much, uh, Ed, for the super chat, EDMG seven. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Ed. All right. So, this is our local temporium. There's one of these in every major town. It's where we tanners come to heal our temptem. There we go. And buy temptem stuff. <laughs> They have all you'll ever need and more, so it's always a good idea to pay them a visit as soon as you arrive on a new town, okay? Yeah, exactly. I, I agree. Mm. This way are Thess Thalassiel Cliffs and the road up to Arisola. It, it can be dangerous, so never go that way without an adult. Mm. We are adults! Really? Okay. Mm. Uh, okay then. And the docks are that way. I could spend hours just sitting there, feet in the water, watching the pan sun turn the Solaro River into gold and fire and the pastel pinks. <laughs> and that's it. This is our little brick all day more. I hope you make lots of friends and enjoy your stay. Mm. Your classes are starting now and you're late, kids. I have to get back to the dojo, and if you're ever in Arisola, drop to the dojo and say hi, okay? Very well. Have a great day. Okay. No, Cammy, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about somebody who was causing a problem and lying about going to the hospital and saying they were having a huge problem, which they weren't. They weren't having a problem. They were just making it up to try to interrupt the chat. So there's no... I don't have a problem if people are themselves in the chat and have their actual problems. I'm just like... I don't... I'm sick of people coming in and trying to, you know, mess things up by pretending they have weird problems that they made up. So how do you heal your people? Oh. Uh, how do you heal your squad? By awakener? No. What if someone's superpower was being so tired of this all the time? What? What is this thing? Oh, okay. That's how you, uh... Alright, then. Oops. Yeah, sorry to get into that. Sorry, honey. I shouldn't have said anything out loud. Oh, nothing. It's fine. All right, bye. Okay, so... 
I guess I have to go to a gym and fight people to get a badge or something. Unless I can bypass uh, that dude by the bridge and just come here on the dock thingies. Nope. It doesn't connect to the land. Nope. Are those other <laughs> people... Oh, bless you. Are those other people players? Yes. Oh, okay. So these people are playing online all at the same time. Yep. It's a massive multiplayer online uh, monster catching game. Uh Okay, so I'm guessing the girl standing out front is important. I'm K Wing. Okay. Max who? Hi yeah. Mm. What do you mean? Well not all new kids at the Academia arrive, blah blah blah. Yeah, sure. Anyway, we're here to learn how to be Tim Tim Tamers. Not how to chat all day. Of course, it is Pokemon, so... Gotta go to the academy. We do need to chat all day. School time. <laughs> school time. School time. Um, hello, please. Next time you come by, grab your school books. So, these are other online players running around while you are. He says, be more punctual for class. There's nobody here. Kazoom tight. He's giving me a lecture. Is this my classroom? No, it is not. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just so you guys know, like, if you ever see somebody completely new in the chat... And they suddenly have a crisis the same day that they're completely new and you've never seen them. Chances are, 9 out of 10 times, they're not telling the truth. Like, these people just go to, from chat to chat and make up weird lies. Like, I'm not trying to be cynical, but I've been on the internet for a long time. Just FYI. Hmm. Not sure what we're supposed to do in the academy. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the Academ Academia, K-Wing. Shouldn't you be heading out to get yourself a jacket or hat? Hello, young pupil. What is your name? Oh, that's somewhat unexpected. In any case, please do take a seat. We're about to start to get today's class. Ah, a world where you can't be honest about anything. You have a strange name, nobody can say anything. You dress weird, you can't say anything. Ah, such a utopia. Oh, yeah. Hi, you must be... Where's that list? Um, K-Wing? Please take a seat and pay attention. So, let's get started. Who can recite all the elemental fire, uh... Tem Tems. How do I sit? There are no seats. There are seats, but there's no way to. There's no inter. You can't interact with the seats. Whoops. Welcome to. Okay. I don't want to say what I think, but never mind. I don't think I can say what I think. Nope. This feels like when I had to make my own, like somehow toy boxes in Disney Infinity, and it, my toy boxes didn't work very well. Life changing stuff. Mm. Oh, uh, okay. Is this me actually School. doing class? School. Yep. School. Need to study hard on each... Te okay, can I just leave the school? Because even that other player doesn't know what's going on. I have a locker. I don't have a locker. That person's blocking the lockers. Yep. Kindly refrain, refrain, refrain from interrupting class. You need to go back to English. English. Uh, English. I need to go to back to academia. Uh, okay. Whoa! Look at that. The wind is perfect. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Oh, I can't. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I would... 
I would lower the price, I think. I mean, it, it's great that this guy's playing on PlayStation 5. See the little PlayStation logo? Yeah. It's great that PlayStation owners uh, have a Pokemon game on their system of sorts. Um, but I mean, usually you would want, if you're trying to either compete or be in the same space as, you know, Nintendo's giant product, you don't want to have your game around the relatively same price because I don't see it being successful. I mean, this is something where you have to sell low, very low. Um, ah, uh, I just, I can't, if I keep playing this, I'm just going to end up being meaner and meaner. So I think... Guy's glitch running. Okay, yeah, I I can't. Um, if you, you have anything to, to say it? or play or whatever, you go for it. I'm I'm gonna end up torching this. You gonna say anything or we just end the stream? Yeah, no, I'll talk. I'll I'll start doing it. Um. I'll, yeah. You're not doing anything. No, I'm doing it. Um, I'm doing something. Well, you could at least talk while you're doing okay. it. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... Alright, so... You want me to keep going, or... Alright, let's go here. Hi there, stranger. I haven't seen you around. You must be new in town. Welcome to Brickle Damar. Are you a student at the academia? No. Tell me about your town. Brickle de Bar is pretty peaceful. Our claims to fame are the breach and the academia. It's that big building northwest of here by Lake Indigo. Many apprentices come to study there. Of course, there's a temporium right north of here. You can get all you need there and this building to your left. That's Louis Souvenirs. He sells all sorts of stuff. You have the Zadar accent, so I guess you already know the way back southwards along pristine coast, right? If you want to get back to Arisola, where the airship terminal is, that's right north of here. But you'll have to climb up the Thalassian Cliffs, and they don't let new apprentices wander alone. Of course, if you have a surfboard, you can... Just cross the Solaro River. Turquesa is on the other shore, and I've heard there are some cool water caves somewhere. Fine, enjoy your stay. Junior, stop that, I swear. Next time I'm leaving you kids with the babysitter. No, you can't get in the water yet. It's three hours, remember? Three hours? This is only an hour. No, you can't get in the water. It's three hours, remember? No, you can't get in the water. It's three hours, remember? Hello there. Have you come to contemplate the quasi-oceanic? And it's shared passion, then. I salute you, fellow oceanophile. Yes, nice to meet you, too. I'm studying Solaro River, of course. The typography of this submarine, ridges and deeps. The ebb and flow of the tides, the Dennis wide effect of those streams and the currents. It's quite a unique natural feature. Nothing in the archipelago quite compares. Why, Professor Constantinos of Arbor University? Of course I do. Not very deeply, of course. He specializes in temtem studies, and my focus is inorganic science. A uh, competent scholar, I am told. Honey, is there something you wanted to talk to me about or no? No, I have okay. nothing left to say. Can I keep Do playing it. for a little bit? Uh-huh. Some of my colleagues would classify Moyo Lake as a minor sea or something like that. But that's pure Philistinism. Philistinism. And there's the issue of Zolot Reservoir and the hypothetical life forms it supported before it went acid. But then I'm not a Tim Temist. Life science is outside the scope of my research. My favorite topic is the Solarian current pattern. pattern, And I still don't know what causes that sort of stream, but I'm writing a paper on that. See you later. All right, so let's, uh, I don't know. I mean, have we already tried going in here? 
that's where you restore your Pokemon. Or Temtems. Hi, welcome to the Brickle de Mar. How can I help you? Wait, I just just buy antidotes. I hardly have any money though. Then don't go spending money. I thought you were done with the game. Yeah, fine. You play it how you want. Balm. One antidote. And one ether. Okay. Have a great day. Sorry, honey. I didn't mean to talk about that. I, there was a problem going on. Next time I just won't say anything. It's just... Yeah. Hey, you. Wait a minute. That way, the Celestian Cliffs. It's quite a hike. The trail is steep and there are some dangerous spots. Can't have people risking their lives like that. I'm not a kid. Whatever, kid. The Celestial Cliffs are treacherous. Can't have untrained tamers sauntering around. Them's the rules. Well, if you were a tamer, I'd know you already. Or the Dojo Master would have told you about me. Tell you what, do you have a tem... Says since vile, if you do, you might have a chance against the wild temtem of the Lassian Cliffs. If you don't, then I can't let you through, kid. Too risky. Come back when you're equipped like a proper tamer. What? What do you want me to have equipped? Whatever. I mean, what? You want to know my thoughts on the game? Honey? I'm not here. Okay. I'm gonna get in enough trouble. I, I I can't talk about this anymore. I mean, this game is interesting. On it just. I mean, I think it's it looks interesting. I mean. Yeah, I mean sometimes I can't. I mean. See, even you can't. I don't know what to say about it. That's exactly what this game is. You don't. I don't. Know what to say. I don't know what to say about it. The. Okay, can I just say, like, I don't know if the characters are kind of morphed together. It looks like they kind of are. Like, I can't tell. And someone in the chat was saying, you can't tell if the characters are girls or guys in Pokemon. You can definitely tell. You can tell. Um, you can definitely tell. There are no, like, kind of Minotaur, like, you know, like something came out of the Black Lagoon and you're not sure if it's human or animal or anything. Like, you know, there's nothing like that in Pokemon. I've never... You, everybody... Everyone in Pokemon is related. Relatable. They look like neighbors and people that you would know. You know, if you actually look at the characters in this um, game, most of them have really strange names. Also... You know, in Pokemon, they would say the Academy. You're saying the Academia. That's very difficult to say. Because it's kind of like not proper English. Like, Academia is like an idea. Academia. Like, it's a group of people or a, a uh, you know, it's a, it's a calling that people have. Like, it's, you know, if you're a professor, you're part of Academia. You know, it, you know. So it's... It doesn't... They're kind of taking other words and using them for a word that really doesn't mean that. I mean, the characters are interesting. I don't... The 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 bright... I would say if this game could change one thing about it that would make it one trillion times better, it would be to tone down the brightness of the grass. That would be my number one thing. It It's kind of uncomfortable to look at. Like... Um, also, I feel like it's not very, compared to, I know it's hard to compare to Pokemon, but Pokemon always has a way to tell you what to do next. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do next. Like, this, I guess I'm supposed to go here, but he says I don't have what I need. See... I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do. I don't understand where I'm supposed to go next. Um, everything is very, like... It's, like, not streamlined. It's kind of complicated. And I don't know. Maybe people like that. I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I mean, like... Honestly, I w Fine, I'll explain. Like, if I, if I would buy this game for myself, 
I would try to like it. I would sit there and play it. I'd be like, this game is so cute. I want to keep playing it. This is really cute. But then after I played it for a couple weeks, I'd get frustrated because it would be so difficult to figure out what's going on. And I wouldn't understand, like, you know, like, I wouldn't understand what I'm supposed to do next. Also, it generally, you know, if it's that frustrating, it's generally not fun anymore. So, I mean, that's just my, I don't know, that would be my take on it, I guess. Hello, I'm K-Wing. Hi, K-Wing. Sorry, I don't want to talk. Also, it would be great if they added cutscenes or something into it. There were supposed to be cutscenes. I think... Like some anime cutscenes so we That's could... how they marketed it. That would be great because, like, you know, like, this is just a lot of text and walking around. Um, like, aside from... <sighs> yeah, I mean, just everything is very bright, and I guess they're doing that on purpose, but it's almost... I wish there was an option to turn down the brightness. Like, if you want it this bright, you can have it this bright, but it'd be nice if you could actually turn down, like, the water is fine. so blue. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, because, fine, I'm just going to explain this real quick. <clears throat> Someone disagrees with what I was saying? No. Okay, look. There's nothing wrong with knowing, uh, this game is just so neutral in everything, like... It, all the characters look the same. There's there's really no feminine looking characters. There's no masculine. Everybody's just all washed completely the same neutral look, which is probably the strangest thing I've seen in a video game, except for ones that I specifically avoid when companies reach out because I know there's going to be controversy surrounding it. So I tend to stay away from that. When this game was marketed to me as a member of the press, I was sent a trailer a couple months back that had an awesome cutscene where you could actually tell the difference between females and males. Uh, the animals looked really cool. Uh, the music in that trailer, nothing like the music in this game. The gameplay is solid, very easy to understand and how to play the game. Colors are way too bright. Uh, the mission structure is very vague. You the characters are very vague. Mm -hmm. um, it's easier to catch people than in Pokemon, so I do like that aspect. You just have to find ways of picking up these Temtem cards uh, in order to catch stuff. It doesn't look like it's super complicated like Pokemon is. And it's not supposed to be entirely like Pokemon. This is a Pokemon clone, so they're going to uh, do things different than Pokemon and other clone-type monster-catching games. So I like the monster-catching thing. Um, the dialogue is pretty bland. Um... But, you know, if you don't have the option of playing monster-catching games like this, and there's really not a lot of games on PlayStation 5, uh, this game is easy to actually get um, access to, but they also sell a version of it that's still in testing for $40, and honestly, I don't think the $40 is really worth it uh, for this. I, I would say for a game like this, I would have charged probably like 20 um, they're still working out a lot of bugs. You saw characters that were literally floating in the air uh, during our little uh, preview of this. Um, you saw people, like, disappearing through the grass. Um, but there's been no problems with the battles, as you guys can plainly see here. Yeah. So, I mean... I mean... Uh, it, it's yeah. a good attempt. It, I, but I would focus less on trying to appease people on Twitter that aren't going to buy this game, because this is a checkbox for all things Twitter. Like, every... Everything you can think of that you see people complaining on different forum sites about what they want to see in a game, it's in this game, and honestly, it's terrible. So, I mean, I, mean, I don't see this game succeeding. It's going to bomb. They have to fix things. They have to try to appease people that are actually going to buy the game as opposed to people that's just going to pat themselves on the back on Twitter. That's my honest opinion. Yeah. And I'm done. So... I mean, the only thing I feel like, honestly, like, I feel like, like, what you were saying where everyone seems very, like, generic and stuff or all the same, when I feel like one part of that, like, you know, like, 
what exactly what you're saying like they don't really have a personality like if this was a guy he'd have a you know like and if it was a girl it'd have like a girly personality or something that's the thing when you make everyone the same they don't really have a personality anymore and that's that's how i feel like with the like the character it's like i don't really see him smiling or a lot of facial expressions i would have added that into like just give it more character or personality make it I don't know, but I mean, all in all, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, for what it is, I just, I think it would be very cute, like seven dollar game, honestly. But for fifth, like forty to sixty dollars, I don't see how it could be, honestly. But I mean, I'm very thankful they gave us the game to check out. I mean, you know, for a first attempt, or if they have other games they're working on, it's not bad, but. I wouldn't be, as a game developer, you can't be worried about what Twitter is going to do because Twitter's insane. Like, you never want to make a game that pleases the Twitter crazies because they're not going to support it. You need to make a game that gamers are going to want to pick up and play. And the reason why so many people are playing this game right now is these are people that were given early access and codes. Like, I can't see a lot of people that bought this even for um, uh, the lack of games on the PS5. Like, th this just, you know... Also, all those cutscenes that they showed in the trailer when they were promoting this game, they need to add those into the game because this is targeted toward people that like anime. And for the most part, the character models that were showcased, I wouldn't necessarily say false advertisement, but it's nothing like the game. Like, there was a distinct difference between how the anime characters looked cool and you could actually tell who's who, whereas opposed when you're playing this game and they don't even have a normal-sounding dude voice. You have... Uh, two voices that are basically done by a girl character, a girl actress, that sounds nothing like any t any of the, the, the guy body types that you pick. It's just, I don't know, it's pretty ridiculous. Are you saying ridiculous. that the guy voice sounds like when I try to do a guy voice? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And they only, they only have one type of female voice, and they only have one type of guy voice. And they're just, they're so... Even, like, uh, the me characters in, like, some Nintendo games, they give them more options... Uh, for that kind of stuff. So, and there we go, another floating character. So, I mean, this this just proves my point. Yeah, I mean, like... I don't know. I mean, I didn't see all that when you were... When I was playing it. Like, I was just thinking, like, pretty colors and stuff. But, like, the whole time you were playing this, I did feel like... Every it's an open world game, yeah. Everything felt kind of, like, just there. And I didn't feel a lot of personality. So, I think, like, a lot of what you were saying, like, has to do with that. Like, if they would add more personality, more customization for the voice, um, stuff like that. Where it's not kind of, like, the character blankly staring ahead and stuff. But, on, I don't know. Honestly, I... Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. I'm very thankful that the developer sent us the game. I forgot what the developer's name is. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Um so thank you so much to the developer for sending us the game. Um you know, I feel like we even had like kind of an issue in our chat maybe because it was difficult to watch the game because people were wondering when the <laughs> exciting part of it was coming and whenever we have a problem like that where things are uncomfortable to watch, people start getting really weird in the chat cuz they're kind of like anxious because they're waiting for something good to happen so i feel like that kind of part was part of why we had that so yeah i mean i agree no, i mean the more i kept playing this game the more i just kept thinking about it but um i would say the pros for this game would be the combat's very good easy to catch monsters um the leveling system works pretty well it feels like you can actually have more moves than you know other monster catching type games so you don't really have to get rid of your moves as much uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward what you're supposed to do, except for, you know, right here at this aspect of the game where we were supposed to go to the academy and then some stuff would happen. Obviously, you get like some type of gym badge or something so you can move on to the next area. But, you know, those those types of things that it, it works really well. But some of the other stuff wasn't necessarily necessary. Um, but, you know they're trying to be stunning and brave and things like that. And that, that kind of stuff ticks me off, to be honest. I mean, it, it's not really needed. Um, the colors are giving me a headache. Like, in all honesty, that's that's too much. Uh, the last time I remember looking at an indie game that had, like, 
colors that were just like um, was not a good experience for me either. It made me very agitated and grumpy. So, I mean, this game just feels void of personality. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It, it's just, I mean... Thank it, you for the super chat, um, uh, Ed. For, for Appreciate a, that. For a Pokemon clone that people can play on other systems, it's okay. Uh, would I rush out to buy it? No. Would I recommend this game? No. Um, but there are a bunch of people that don't like the modern style Pokemon games, and this feels more at home to them. But they're also complaining about similar things that I brought up. So there's yeah, there's very... a lot of stuff that I hope the developer can take from this criticism. Like maybe tone down the colors a little bit. Try to make the grass look like it's not painted on, for instance. Because when you fight certain enemies that are bright green, you can't see the difference between the enemies you're fighting to the ground. So it just all yeah. kind of bleeds together. You don't want that to happen. This is supposed to be this... a game on the PlayStation 5. And the world looks terrible. There's no detail. But you know what? You know what? I finally realized why I feel bad criticizing the game is because they obviously put a ton of work into the game. Like they made so much dialogue, they made so many characters, they made so many worlds, they made so many different Pokemon or Temtems. But the problem is, like, I would have rather they focused on like something that would have made the game fun. Like, something that would have made the game, I would have been sucked into it. Like you said, an anime cutscene or some personality. Like, we start out with, like, they have all the key things, but none of the heart of the game, of the Pokemon, you know? Or any, you know, a game that you would love to play. Like, we're playing a game right now um, of Rice and Ruin, and that game is very simple, but it has a ton of heart. So it's very fun to play. The care, the like for instance, like this guy starts out with a person named Ina. You have no idea who Ina is even now. You don't know if he's her, you know, she's her, his mom, his sister, a friend. You have no idea. It would be great to have like some kind of backstory or explain, so we can actually feel for the character. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel. I feel like I don't even know how to exit. I feel like that... Let me out! I feel like that would help a lot. Like, the per personality is missing. And everyone's kind of blankly staring because it feels... Honestly, playing the game, it feels like they're afraid. The people making the game are afraid to do anything because they're so afraid of offending somebody. It, it does feel like they're they're stepping on eggshells with a lot of aspects of the game. Look at look, th this intro music! To, to This is a good... That sounds That happy. sounds something like, okay. That sounds this... happy. Right. Is that in the game? No. 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 I didn't hear that music in the game. I just, I don't know. It, it's. Yeah, I agree. Blackwing says, like, it's better to be honest and straight up about it. Honestly. Yep. See? Yeah. See? This is what I'm talking about. This builds to something. Yeah, it says, yeah, this had lots of love, but the crowdfunded games, the creators need more experience with them. Yeah. I mean, like, thank you. Yeah, there are people playing this game because they're bitter about modern Pokemon, says that. Yeah. Probably. Um. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Vague instruction, it's a. Pokemon is kind of handholdy, but at least it's clear what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, um, yeah, so anyway, I, I'm, yeah, look, I don't think anyone, I mean, I don't think that, I mean, anyway, I really, pr thank you so much for sending us the game. For Temtem, and we tried to give honest feedback. Luke and I are used to doing game reviews back from 2008, so when someone asked us to give honest feedback, hopefully that was okay to give that. I mean, like, we, we said our honest feedback of it, and we hope that the developers, if you're listening, we hope you guys... Um, we had a lot of people watching this, uh, and, you know, a lot of people had some interesting things to say. There was a lot of people also kind of couldn't understand what this game was about or couldn't understand like what the whole you know idea of the game was so maybe you guys can work on adding those cutscenes in and adding more personality and maybe not worrying about what like people think online like because you're never gonna please everybody 
So you might as well just make it impossible to please everybody. You, you might as well just you know that everyone's going to say something whenever you make a a character have a personality. Somebody's going to get mad. So you might as well just make the character you guys the developer should make the character the way you want to make the character regardless of what Twitter people think. If you really want to make the game this way, if this is your passion to make it like this, well then go for it. But if it's not, if you're trying to please everyone then I would change the game and make it the way you want. Make whatever character is in your mind and, you know, whatever kind of story you want, just make it your way. Don't worry about what people think online. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, focus on improving the music for the battle system because, I mean, honestly, it put me to sleep. Uh, the violin should be the overworld theme. The overworld theme should be the battles. Uh, instead of like tiptoeing around like gender dialogue uh actually tell the player where they're supposed to go nobody really cares about what the characters look like and how they behave they just want to you know get to fights the dialogue's too long uh rather useless um uh, just trying to think gameplay's fine i didn't have any problems with interacting with um all the different players at once. There was no slowdown. Um, but also at the same time, the world map is very bland. There's no detail in the grass. The bushes, you can't even tell they're really bushes. When we were trying to go up an incline path to move around the map, it took us a few minutes to find where the incline was because everything bleeds into the background. You can't even see when it goes from a flat to a high rise. So, I mean... I, this is supposed to be PS5, and I don't think that's worth the $40. But anyway, people, um, that is going to do it. If you want to check out this game, it's available on PS5 right now, $40. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe you can also get it on PS4 and Steam. You can get it on Steam. I don't know mm -hmm. how much, but somebody got it for $7 on Steam. That was, that was a while ago. But that was a long time ago. Um, this was a crowdfunded game. The developers will probably do more in the future, hopefully. Um, the gameplay solid. The game experience is not solid. It's it's kind of a mess. So it needs a lot of improvements. Um, world map needs to be improved. Music needs to be improved. Dialogue needs to be shortened. Uh, colors need to be lessened because it's way too wicked bright. Um, I'm going to have this headache the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Can and, we stream something else after this or no? Uh, I have to edit and I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Okay. I would, I would love to be able to stream again, but I don't have time. It's... I don't have time. It's going to take me at least two hours to uh, get the stuff done. Yeah, so thank you guys. Like, um, I mean, and we're not the only ones who, like, even somebody in the chat was saying, well, a couple people said I fell asleep for a few minutes. Like, yeah. It's, you didn't miss much, Gooey. It's uh, fine. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, thanks so much to the developer for sending this game. Thank you guys for, you know being here for the stream and checking out the game at least you guys know what the game is about that's our thoughts i mean who knows maybe somebody else will play it and absolutely love it but yeah all right you guys take care uh check out the game if you want to that's my honest thoughts about it and uh we'll see you guys on the next stream tomorrow which actually is going to be the tetris stream so i'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that because it's tetris so yeah all right guys Brady. take care Yep. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!